several homes are what getting a lift literally. They really are. They're getting a lift literally. Yeah. That's right. First Alert meteorologist Pierce Legion joins us with more on a program that makes sure homeowners never have to deal with flooding again. Yeah, this program is specifically for homeowners who have multiple insurance payouts due to flooding. The results are giving some of them peace of mind. Well, it's, it's nerve wracking when you see it suspended that high in the air, but it is exciting. Uh, you know when it's going to be done right. Yeah, it's, it's pretty exciting. Homeowner Jerry Evans couldn't be happier to see his home lifted over 10 feet above the ground. He lives along what is normally a beautiful and peaceful Pamlico River. But waterfront living sometimes comes at a price. Isabel came through and did some damage, and the repairs were made after we moved in. We've had a couple of Northeasters, but the real tough one we had was Irene. Hurricane Irene, the powerful storm slammed into eastern North Carolina in August of 2011, with 10 to 15 inches of rain and wind gusts over 100 miles per hour. The Evans home was no match for the storm's fury. It beat it up pretty good and tried to push it off the foundation. It was, it was quite a storm. Most of the damage was done by water. The force ripped the wood shingle siding off the house and left behind a murky, muddy mess and plenty of debris. It would take $54,000 and several years before the home was completely back to normal. Much of the money paid out as an insurance claim. They've been flooded repetitive times. Um, uh, this one is flooded at least four times. The home is being raised above the 100-year flood level as part of a pre-disaster grant through the National Flood Insurance Program and FEMA. The local leaders work with homeowners in their area who experience repetitive flooding and submit for a grant through the program. We've got to prove that they're cost effective. Uh, they've, they've got to pass a cost-benefit analysis by the state and by FEMA. FEMA examines if it's cost-effective to raise the home or acquire it and tear it down. All in an effort to prevent future repetitive insurance claims. Approved homes received up to $175,000 toward the cost of raising. So what does it take to raise a home? A lot of planning and a lot of engineering. As many as 10 hydraulic jacks are brought in to lift the home inch by inch. As the home is raised, temporary supports or cribbing are put in place until more permanent supports can be installed. It took crews three days of precise work to lift this home. Brian Avery has been raising homes for over 10 years. It's uh, a lot of figuring on trying to where to put all the cement and get our blocks in. So it's a lot of small things just to get it going. Next, Avery and his team will plan to pour cement and build permanent supports once the weather warms up and dries out. The entire home raising process from start to finish will take three or four months. For Evans, it's been a long time coming. It's been five years and you're, you know, you hear it's going to happen and then there's postponement and then it comes back and go back and forth. But it's a wait that's worth it. In Washington, meteorologist Pierce Legion, down on your side. Beaufort, Craven, Hyde, and Pamlico are just a few of the counties in the east currently taking advantage of the program. Since 1996, about 800 homes across the state have been elevated. Meteorologist Pierce Legion, not on your side.